Following the fire, residents claimed three lives due to fuel tanker explosion in Abelkota. The state governor, Dagbo Abiodun, has banned tankers and other articulated vehicles from plying flyover bridges in the state. Governor Abiodun gave the order during an on-the-spot assessment of the damages on the scene. The governor also vowed that stiffer punishment will be meted out to any tanker found culpable. I have discussed with the Ministry of Transportation. We will begin the enforcement, the serious enforcement of ensuring tanker, tankers and tanker drivers operate vehicles in Ugu State are roadworthy. They will now begin to check those vehicles to ensure and confirm when last were they maintained, do they have the adequate safety equipment, how well are they mechanically operating. Because this is not the first time we're experiencing this in Ogun State. We see a lot of this happening in the outer axis. There's a bridge in Ota that always has this kind of incident. We are also going to put measures in place to try and reduce or almost eliminate this such occurrence. Part of that, amongst others, would include ensuring that tanker drivers do not drive on our overhead bridges anymore. If the ability to control their vehicles at times now becomes a hazard to other road users, we think it best to ensure that we don't create or allow for that opportunity that it would even make room for their vehicles spinning out of control. So henceforth, by way of this pronouncement this afternoon, tankers are not allowed on our overhead bridges anymore. And we will put in place a very steep fine for any tanker driver that is caught on any of these bridges. This is a measure amongst other measures that the Ministry of Transportation will be rolling out in the next day or two. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.